Welcome back to my morning report analysis videos on Thursday 30th of March with me, Rich Power Market Analyst at Antec Marcus, looking at cable. Sterling dollar um, continues to drift lower. You've got this dollar strengthening which is in the market at the moment, but it's interesting that we've now signed Article 50 um, or triggered Article 50 on, in the UK and you've not seen the bounce. Um, there had been talk, I mean there was um, this record short on sterling. And there was suggestion that perhaps you were going to get um, a sell on rumour buy in fact rally on sterling. Not seen that yet, certainly not seen that yet. Um, st could, still could happen, um, but looking at the technicals, it doesn't look all that great, does it? Um, you've got the stochastics falling away, confirming a sell signal today. You could argue similar to the one we saw back in early Feb, and as I said on the euro, that um, started to sort of really impact, and uh, the one in Feb certainly did work. RSI back at 50, um, falling below 50 wouldn't be great, certainly. Um, and I think it sort of all sort of points towards drifting lower, really. 23.75 was the reaction low that we saw yesterday. That comes above 23.45, which is sort of that low, that series of lows, really. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because you're not really getting this. Um, uh, sort of bounce that we may have been due really with that uh, such a significant short positioning. Now the hourly chart shows 23.80 basically uh, as a breakout level um, old pivot old level 23.80 base of support on that chart is 23.70 on the daily chart is 23.75 but also 23.20 which is an, a sort of a, a near term basis of support as well so that it's sort of between sort of 2320 to 2380 there's a band of support really that you need to look out for and if you break to the downside then you really are looking far more corrective but you look at this hourly chart look at those macd lines crossing over about to cross over underneath neutral is never good stochastics crossing bearishly at 70 sorry 80 um and looking bearish RSI failing around that 50 point, it doesn't look good, does it? It all sort of suggests selling into strength, doesn't it, on rallies. Um, 24.75 was that reaction high we saw yesterday. 24.50 is, is limiting today. It doesn't look all that great, certainly if you start to break below that uh, that low we saw from yesterday and then start to sort of retest that 23.20 level. So pressure is growing on, on sterling on the downside um, and we're certainly not seeing that recovery coming through quite yet. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. I'll speak to you later. Thank you.